Alright, first thing I gotta do today is pound up this sinew. I took off some deer legs. Um, it's a good idea to use round rocks uh, with no jagged edges. That way you don't accidentally fray the sinew and break it. But yeah, you just uh, go at it and just start pounding away to separate the fibers. See what that's doing? It's flattening it out and exposing all the inner threads. So I just got to keep doing that for a while until I get them all separated into the thickness that I want. See, those are all the inner threads right there. Alright, so from a piece of sinew about this big, once I pounded it, I got all of this. And that's more than enough for what I need. And all I gotta do is just wet this up a little bit and uh, put it around the arrowhead when I'm ready to tie it on. But you can see it's really like thin fiber. And it's super strong and the nice thing is you don't need any glue around it you don't have to tie it because it uh it hardens when it's dry just like that all i've done now is taken a little piece of rosewood and i drilled the hole through it with the awl on my swiss army knife and now i'm just gonna bring a knock down right through here i gotta make it pretty wide too and uh, i'm gonna work on sawing that out but i just need a nice wide knock and that's going to accept the arrowhead and then the rawhide string is going to go through that hole. Alright there you go, I got the notch uh, sawed out and that accepts the arrowhead all the way down into there. Just like that. I got the hole there. Now all I'm going to do is carve this up and make it a little nicer, maybe sand it down on a rock a little bit. Alright, I got my sinew, my little knock, the arrowhead, and the rawhide string. Now I just gotta start a small fire and boil down some uh, glue out of some pine sap. Kinda still in there. Well, it's broken half, but that should still work fine. Now we wait.
All right, that should be good. I'll let it dry up a little bit and then um, scrape the dry stuff off. Okay, hey guys, there it is. Uh, it's not perfectly centered, but um, it's pretty good. Gives it a little bit of character. Cleaned it up as best I could. So now I just gotta put the sinew around it, feed it through the rawhide, and uh, that's it. Well, I'm gonna lay down so hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, all I'm doing is taking some thin pieces of sinew. I'm just gonna wet them up. Get them good and soaked. This is all you have to do. and then start wrapping it around the arrowhead. Just wear that in with your thumb. You don't have to do anything fancy. It's going to dry nice and tight on its own. It shrinks when it dries. Alright, there it is. Wrapped up with sinew. Now all I gotta do is feed the cordage through that hole, tie it around my neck. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that okay. Um, there it is. All done. Arrowhead necklace.